for tomorrow, tracking the snow as it moves into Connecticut. Something we haven't really done much this winter. Our snow deficit still growing across the state. We'll put some small dents in these numbers tomorrow, but so far we certainly have not seen much snow over a one foot deficit for the season so far in the Hartford area just about there in Bridgeport and it all comes down to the forecast for tomorrow forecasting about one to three inches for Tolland and Wyndham counties into uh, the greater Hartford metro area including northern sections now of New Haven and Fairfield counties and southern parts of Litchfield County northern Litchfield County likely to see three or more inches of snow could be anywhere between four or five inches on some of the higher peaks with the coating to an inch uh, in southern Connecticut and along the shoreline. So this all falls by tomorrow evening. Here's our storm system right now. It's starting to take shape. It's starting to move a little bit farther to the north and to the east and eventually will impact us. We have been pretty quiet and it continues to be that way overnight tonight. Futurecast really not showing much except for just clouds filling in through the morning tomorrow. And then by lunchtime, we start to see some spotty snow showers move in too. But it's not until after about two o'clock where we see steady or moderate snow build in. This is a snapshot of three o'clock. If we fast forward to four o'clock when the evening commute is getting underway, roads getting busy, we have steady light to moderate snow across the entire state. Temperatures low enough to allow this to stick. We'll be battling though the warmer air to our south. North of this line right here, all snow. South, all rain. Really not much mixing uh, going on with this type of setup. And eventually the warmer air will win out, trying to transition from snow to rain as early as about 6 or 7 o'clock uh, tomorrow evening. And then we have some periods of heavier rain that roll through. Maybe even some thunder mixed in here. Don't be shocked if you hear a few rumbles later tomorrow evening. And this all will clear out uh, by Thursday morning. So this is a two-fold alert. First, it's for the impacts of the evening commute. As snow develops, we'll see slick roads. Low visibility on the roads, not great uh, when roads, of course, are getting busier. And then this flips to rain at night. And with heavy rain, uh, steady at times, we could be dealing with some ponding on the roads. Sometimes snow can clog storm drains, leading to bigger puddles on the roads. Fog certainly an issue. And this opens the door for stronger wind gusts, too. Futurecast still showing about a half inch to an inch of rain uh, for northern Connecticut, an inch or more for southern Connecticut, especially in New London County. But look at this wind wind gust trend for tomorrow. Not much going on until we get to about four o'clock. The warm front starts to lift north by 8 p.m. at the shoreline. Gusts approaching or even exceeding 40 miles an hour. And that will be the case where it's just these repeated gusts across southeastern Connecticut. This is 1 a.m. Thursday. It's just southern Middlesex and New London counties uh, where the stronger gusts are and everybody gets a bit windy Thursday, but not quite to that damaging level. So the wind advisory from the National Weather Service is just for four o'clock tomorrow until 4 a.m. Thursday. Uh, and that, again, is going to be for southeastern Connecticut. A live look at our ICAM in Rocky Hill. Clouds starting to fill in a bit. A live look right now in Mystic, too, showing that things are quiet and clear right now. The calm before the storm, if you will. Early warning pinpoint Doppler scanning. Just not much to show here. And that won't change much either. Temperatures are dropping down to 32 in Hartford and Meriden, 32 in Willimantic, 31 in Salisbury and Torrington, 29 in Putnam. The early warning seven day is focused on the alert for tomorrow. Still windy, but drying out a bit on Thursday. Friday looking great. Highs between about 35 and 40 degrees. Saturday, even nicer. Clouds filling in for Sunday. Showers return by Monday.